Now, for all, some of us, you know, sharing our Wi-Fi is very simple to do, especially in the home. You've got lots of products you can buy at Best Buy, CompUSA, online at Amazon, Buy.com, Newegg. But what if you want to share maybe with the neighborhood, not so much just your room or just your home, perhaps a, a couple of uh, tenants in an apartment building all want to get together, share one broadband connection, but want to share it out through the entire building. Well, how do you go about doing that? Here to help us answer that question is Christina Denyk, Jiwire Product Manager. Correct. Jiwire. What is exactly is Jiwire? Jiwire has sort of two big businesses. We have a public hotspot directory, um, which is uh, which is both free and uh, for pay networks, um, and we have over two hundred thousand in the world uh, hotspots in that directory. And then we also have a broadband Wi-Fi uh, advertising network. So you're pretty well. Sp- uh, familiar with a lot of these uh, network sharing products. Now, how are these products that we're actually going to run through different than just buying a standard net, uh, Wi-Fi router like you buy at a, at a computer store? Well, these are about sharing, and, uh, and they, they uh, vary a little bit. The first one we're going to talk about is Fawn, which is like joining a club. F-O-N. I always F-O-N. thought it was phone. I thought it was some sort of play on the word phone, but it's Fawn. I think it is kind of a play on the word phone, but it's Fawn. And uh, now I actually have, is this a Fawn modem or a wireless uh, broadband uh, repeater? It's, a, it's actually, it's a router, and it's, it actually transmits two signals. So if you add it, if you connect it to your, you know, cable modem, you are, it, that's, it's pretty from the back, yeah. too, yeah. Um, it actually, one of, the, uh, one of the signals is just for the internal use, and you can set the uh, broad, how much, how much traffic goes on one and how much goes on the other. Um, and then the other one is shared in the, in the neighborhood. And anyone who is a Fonero, i.e. bought a Fawn box, can then log on for free. Oh, nice. Um, and anyone who is not a Fonero has to spend $3. Now, once you buy the, the router, do you, that means you don't have to pay any subscription after you buy That's one. Right. Wow. That's so right. for, for 40, 40 to 50 bucks for yep. one of these? And then anywhere else... On the planet where there's one of these attached to someone's home, you can log on to theirs. That's right. And it's, um, I think it's particularly handy if you're going to Spain. It's a, uh, it's a Spanish company. They have um, pretty good distribution in Europe. You can go to their website and check it out. Um, and, uh, and in Europe, Wi-Fi is cheaper here than it is in Europe. So if you go to Europe and you decide you're going to sit down in a cafe and you know, do, a, do a $10 a day, that's going to add up pretty quickly. Um, so, so I think if, especially if you're going to places where you're not sure whether you're going to be able to get an Internet cafe, that this is an option. You can check the map before you go. Now, Fun offers uh, on their site basically a map where you can say, okay, this mm-hmm. city has one, this city has one. That way you can say, like, I'm going to uh, Barcelona, I'm going to... Uh, uh, London or Paris, I can find or Northern California. You can see all, that's what I pulled up. We'll see all those or- and all those orange dots are a, f- a phone spot or font. Font spot, right? Fonts. F O N. Fawn. Fawn spot. It sounds like an alien that sound race. Like fun. The fawns are fun. coming to invade. It's fun. And forty to fifty dollars, and that's lifetime. So that's lifetime. Yep. That is so cool. And and if I, I don't know how this works exactly. I if you have people who go and they log on for the day, you get half of the money. Fawn gets half the money. You give them a PayPal account when you first log in, when you first create your mm. account. And I think in my neighborhood, our neighborhood, um, that we would make no yes. money. That's right. I, actually, I should divulge that uh, Christina is actually my neighbor. She lives 10 doors up from me. <laughs> so, I, yeah, I need to actually siphon off some of your bandwidth because my, right. my internet's kind of gotten pricey. So I think that we would probably make no money because that's the kind of neighborhood we live in full of cheap people. But I have a friend <laughs> who lives in an apartment building downtown and very dense, and, uh, and he actually made $35 last month. Oh, nice. So that, you know, almost covered the router in, in one month, and maybe next month he'll be able to buy a pizza. It's kind of like recycling aluminum cans almost. <laughs> All right, the next one you have is Wisher or Whisker? Wisher. 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 So Wisher is a totally different kind of product. There's no hardware involved. What it is is a, uh, it is a client, and they try very hard to sort of make it friendly and make it look like a chat client. And you're basically, I think that, I think that it would be like a great, if you had like a great um, signal in your dorm room and you wanted to share it with just your friends on the floor. So you create accounts for your friends and then the Wisher client becomes the connection manager and stores the password and the signal name. Oh, nice. So this, is, this would be a really good solution if you lived in a kind of a densely populated apartment, dorm room. 
Right. If you had friends condos. who were seeing your signal on a regular basis and you were willing to share with just those friends. Or if you live like in the Bay Area or at least San Francisco, attached housing. Right. So, you know, you're getting Wi-Fi signal through the wall. There are some people who share it to the general public, but... Um, I, I, there aren't that many of them, and that I, I don't think that's going to be a great use for this. And, you know, it runs on Windows, Linux, and OS X, so you're not limited to, right. to any right. particular platform. All your friends. As long as you have a Wi-Fi connection, you can share it out with this, and ideally other people who also have an open Wi-Fi or right. Wi-Fi connection that can share, they would share. And, and you could do it. I mean, you could share both your connection at home and your connection at work, and depending on how friendly you are. All right. And finally, the last one is... Uh, is Meraki. Meraki. I keep calling it Merkai because I think of the meerkats on, this, on, on the animal planet. Oh, so. they're adorable. Yes, I remember people complaining about after one of them uh, passed away in uh, untimely uh, manner. Yeah, uh, but uh, Meraki, uh, this, is all, this is like fun. You do pay for a bit of hardware, and you do pay for service, or you don't pay for service? Well, you can choose whether you want to pay for a service or not. So if you wanted to, this, this seems like the perfect solution if you wanted to bring in one really expensive connection and then give the whole apartment building access. So what you do is you're buying the hardware, which is a repeater. So maybe you get one on each floor of the apartment building, and you have one person paying for a really nice connection, and the whole building shares it. It's a, yeah. Oh, and then from what I've seen, it's essentially just, it's actually this it shape. It's like It's that, like yeah. this, except it's black. And you put, right? Or the white. Is it, the white? For some reason, maybe it was a, maybe because it was a mm. black and white photo. Mm. Uh, <laughs> you plug it into, uh, you plug it in, and then you just leave it there, and I, you, you basically repeat. Now, can you repeat these with multiple devices? You can like kind of take one and uh, piggyback off yes. that one. And yes, you can. Off that you one. can. And uh, and Meraki mostly they're going to be you know charging for this, but as sort of a pilot project, they're doing a free network in San Francisco. Um, they're doing a couple of them. Uh, and, and if you're in range of the, you know, free San Francisco signal, you can go ahead and, and buy one and start to repeat it as sort of a service to your neighborhood. And it's kind of almost a mesh network. Oh, actually, it is a mesh is network. Mesh. And ba- overlapping. But in you- very informal mesh. Which means it's kind of like a used fishing net. There's going to be holes occasionally. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. But if everyone gets together and, and you know, kind of puts their heads together and their uh, funds, you could create a very nice working uh, wireless access for you know a community, be yeah. it you know be it small neighborhood, a couple of blocks, or maybe you know even something like right. And those are like, are uh, as you said, sort of fifty to hundred dollars, so they're not they're not so expensive. All right, thank you very much, Christina. So, and uh, if you want to learn more about any of these, check out their websites and check out our website. I'll actually put everything in the show notes. Merkai. Fawn, not phone, and Meraki. Meraki. <laughs> what did I just say? Merkai. Meraki. Meerkat. Stupid meerkats. And uh, wisher.com. All right.